Yeah, yeah can I just throw uh, in another hot potato into our discussion, and it's the land value tax, and whether this is a way of shaking out uh, some land for development. I, we're aware Martin Wolf has written about this over a good few years now and uh, advocated it. Uh, interested in the views of all of you on the uh, on the subject, and do you think that this is a way that would uh, put pressure on developers to get on with the, those many areas they've got where they've got planning permission but sit on the land in the hope of some property inflation? Uh, and if that's not going to work, what will work to against this background of uh, rising land prices, which make it economic in many cases to hang on to the land until you can get more for it. Well, let me comment on this. Um, there are a number of different reasons why we might want to change our taxation of land and property, um, not least that it's a fearful mess. Um, and there are, it's difficult to just change one bit without thinking about some of the others. I see you, you're just here have a question about council tax, which is obviously a quite extraordinary thing. Um, but on the specific issue of land tax, uh, it seems to me that there are three reasons why you might, one might be interested in pursuing this direction. First, um, that it's a way simply of appropriating um, a substantial part of the value of land um, and there are good fiscal reasons um, why you would want to tax land rather than other things um, for efficiency reasons and the more, le the more we can tax land rents um, uh, the, the, lower we can the lower we can push other taxes um, some of which are highly distorting so there's this general Henry George type argument uh, that's a fundamental change in the basis of our tax system, but it seems to me personally attractive. The second reason is actually linked with what Kate talked about. It's just another way of doing thing, this thing, which is something I've been thinking about a lot, which is, seems to me central in this discussion, which is how do you change the incentives for local authorities? Uh, I mean, it seems to me under our current fiscal arrangements, though they do seem to be changing rather rapidly in ways I, whose implications I don't fully understand. Um, uh, from a point of almost any local authority, the, the, the net benefit, both political and economic, the two are very closely related, of development of housing is negative. So why would they do it? I mean, they're not going to get any rep significant revenue gain from it. Um, uh, they are going to get an awful lot of grief from their e existing residents, and they're going to incur a very large number of costs associated with infrastructure of all sorts. So why should a local authority want to, to, uh, um, to, uh, to um, promote development? It's in its rational interest not to do so. So one wants to think about taxes which will accrue to local authorities, which will adequately compensate them for their costs. Now, one, a very simple one, which Kate suggested, and is essentially a tax arrangement, is you buy the property at current value and sell it at the future value. But land value taxes are just a way of annualizing, annuitizing, if you like, that sort of process. So you could clearly um, associate those with local taxes. That's rather different from the Henry George type thing, which is national. Um, but this is one way, and it seems to me an incredibly important basic aim of our policy chain, is to motivate um, local authorities to actually uh, get a return. And actually, by the way, I think the residents themselves, one reason why residents might be happier to accept incomers is if their own taxes were to fall, because of very large taxes were to be imposed on the, on the development itself. And the final one is indeed what um, Lord Marx just mentioned, which is it would be a way of stimulating use of land which is idle. Um, if you ha it would increase the carrying cost of land. At the moment, um, interest costs are extremely low, uh, obviously, if you are a large developer in current circumstances. There are obviously some costs associated with holding land, but if the appreciation of the land value is significant, um, it seems to me perfectly rational to wait for the development. 
It's not in the least surprising why people... I'm not suggesting that's the only reason. Other good reasons have been given here. And uh, a land tax, site value tax, is related to the, the value in its current planned use, assuming the planning, obviously the planning has occurred, um, would, I think, be a very useful stimulus for development. And I've been arguing this for about 15 years completely unsuccessfully. So that's how I see... Some of the some of the core tax issues in this. 